Manus AI. Everybody has been going crazy about this AI tool. You've got people that are begging the developers for access codes. And for some reason, they gave me access. Yes, me. What did I write? I just told them I had a YouTube channel and I wanted to create a video about it. And they gave me access like four hours after. Um, I tried it. It was good. It was fine. I created a game that was basically like a ship sailing game. And it was so horrible. I didn't even upload the video because it was so bad. But Manus is actually great for like analyzing analyzing stuff. I'm not going to lie. It was great for like analyzing stock, you know, looking at spreadsheets, maybe looking at a little bit of SEO here and there and just productivity in general. And a lot of people created some great websites with it, but I couldn't get it to do what I wanted. And I'm pretty good at prompt engineering, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. Today, we're going to talk about the fact that there's an amazing team that just open sourced this entire thing. Yes, open Mattis. You might have heard of it. You might have not heard of it. But this team basically created a fully open source lookalike copycat of Manus. And it's completely free. You don't need an invite code. You don't need anything. The thing took me like three minutes to install. And today I'm going to teach you exactly how to install it. And then we can try it out and play around with it and see how it is. So yeah. So navigate over to Open Manus right here. Uh, the link is in the description down below. And before we even start, make sure you've installed Python and UV, which is an installer for Python. If you don't have both of these, they're pretty easy to install. Just go on python.org, install the latest version. It is an installer. You don't do it through a command line or anything after that you want to install uv the package manager if you're on mac if you're on mac you want to install using this command if you're on windows install this command if you have pip use this pipx whatever it is use one of these to install on your machine this will also be in the description down below after you're done with both of these it's time to move on to actually installing open Manus. we're going to skip over the conda type installation so we're just going to use uv which is the recommended method once we are in our terminal, we want to CD over to desktop and then you want to CD or make their make a new file called open Manus or whatever you want to call it. I already have one. It's called open Manus. I'm going to CD into that. Now, next, we want to get clone. You're going to paste it right here. It's going to clone the repository. Cloning a repository basically just means making a copy of that repository. You're just going to LS. You're going to CD into open Manus and then we're in that directory. Next, you want to open a code editor of your choice. I'm going to use VS Code. Cool. Now, once we are in, we are just going to put this to the side right here so we can see both of these. So now you want to create a VNV, which is a virtual environment. If you're on Windows, use this command. If you're on Windows, use this command. If you're on Mac, use this or Unix, if you like that stuff. And you've activated the virtual environment. Next, you want to install the packages that we were talking about and the reason why we have created this virtual environment. And it's going to go ahead and download all these packages. It will take a second and that's totally fine. Once you're done installing the packages, now you open up VS Code and then you see this config file right here. It's in Manus open config. You want to add your own keys. Yes, you need some keys for this. I'm going to use OpenAI's model. And the way you do that is just copy this right here and paste it right here. Go on OpenAI. You want to log into their API platform. You're going to go on their dashboard. You're going to create a new key, copy it, but don't leak it like I just did. That's fine. I'm going to delete it after make sure there's no period after that paste it in these two api key sections because you want to use them um so yeah that is not free there are sources that allow you to use openai's keys for free once you've copied over your open ai key we can click off that we've pasted it into our config file like we saw here we're just going to edit rename the file remove the dot example because we just wanted to say config and then you are pretty much good to go. In order to start it up, you're just going to go onto your command line. We're going to ls again. We're just going to do python main.py in order to start the app. It's going to set up real quick, and then it's going to ask you to enter a prompt. And we're officially ready to start prompting. This is it. There's no UI, unfortunately. I think in the future they will be implementing a UI for it, but for now, we're going to stick with the command line. So yeah, if we wanted to, we can create an app or create some stuff, but we are going to plan a seven day trip to Japan. Let's do that. Let's take this Manus script, put it in here and then click enter. It's going to do a step-by-step -step format exactly like what Manus does that you saw 
it does these steps. And what's cool about this is it will show you what it's doing. So it's Google searching here and it's showing the results for you and it's gathering all these information into a single document at the end. So I'm going to pause the video and then I'll be back once it's done. Okay, awesome. So it said Mattis thoughts to seven day Japan itinerary and travel handbook has been successfully created and saved as an HTML file in the file. That's the file name. Okay, I see it right here. We're going to open it and it doesn't seem like it created the maps but it gives gave us some travel tips, which I assume it got from the internet and then some nice phrases and words that we can use, which is pretty nice. And then here is the seven day itinerary. Pretty cool. Yeah. So it was able to create the travel handbook for us, seven day itinerary, all that stuff, nice plans, some phrases and stuff. But I'm very excited to see what you guys can build with this. Let me know in the comments down below what you're planning on using this for. And if you created something, leave a link to it. Leave the GitHub repo. I'd love to look at it and check it out. Um, if you have any questions on the installation process, please leave it in the comments. If you noticed in my last videos, I always answer the comments as fast as possible and try to help out as much as I can. I, I love interacting with you guys. It's super fun. Um, and yeah. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. And if you want the latest and the greatest AI tool videos, I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. Um, I'm at 11,000. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate every single one of you for that. Uh, but for now, be safe, be well, and I'll see you on the next video.